the stream had also disappeared. And if the stream dies, the frog eggs, the tadpoles, the frogs, and everything else that lived in those waters disappears. And we can no longer go there and fetch the water. Taking root. It was a film done on Wangari, lives and times of Wangari and Mathai, her struggles, her achievements, her trials, tribulations. It is really important to mention that the social order of the time was very patriarchal, favored men. And for Wangari Mathai, who was a divorcee, it was really hard for her because the society looked at her differently. I can see that Wangari Mathai was someone who would see things that we, ordinary people would not see. She began, she started out by planting trees, very innocuous, very politically unthreatening, at least in the beginning. And then later on it morphs into something else. All political issues are because of natural resources. There would be no politics if there are no natural resources. That's my thinking. When you're passionate, you sweat, you move, you control that fear. See, because courage is working without fear. That's what she did. Please remember that it's just not about planting, it's also about growing, making sure the tree at least gets to five meters. We have a whole ten steps. By the time that tree goes into the hole, it's been a process. The green belt doesn't just buy some seedlings and run to plant. Look for the positive, even when situations are negative. I will join the school of thought that says it is good that we rewrite our history. To rename Limuru Road to Wangari Madai Road. We are looking for a million signatures. Tweet that, please. This is it, and you, we can come back to Power 254 because you make history here all the time. And we will be talking about how we started a movement last week that put together a world-class museum in this country that pays tribute to stories that will rewrite our history.